bone case. Look. You can use the bone case one, and I'm going to put the uh, Yorkshire puddings in there. Right, as you can see, the Yorkshire puddings are done. Like I said, I'm going to do a little one. Oh. I'm just going to re rewind it a few seconds. It just went from being not done, being done. So those are Yorkshire puddings. What the f is going on here? How did that white liquid turn to brown? And how did you cook the, these things to turn into that? I don't even know. Here we go. We're here to learn how to cook Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas by the legend herself. Okay, he's cooking. Okay. Um, Yorkshire pudding, potatoes and peas. Is, it, is that an English specialty or something? But surely this is top tier. Hey. But the word pudding is putting me off. Yorkshire pudding. Potatoes and peas. Pudding, for me, meaning a dessert. Don't know. Let's, let's see what happens. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing Yorkshire pudding, mashed potatoes and peas. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Fine, yep, sweet. Now Oi. I'm going to make the Yorkshire pudding. This is too much information to intake. 15 fresh eggs. Salt and pepper. Looks, doesn't look right though. So she's got, she's got a pot of potatoes. She's got potatoes on the boil. She's got peas on the boil. What's this for? What is she going to beat up? Oh, shit. I lit the bag. Not so good there. Well, yeah, like, when, what are you thinking, Six Side? Like, pudding is a dessert in my eyes, but nah. Old Britain, Britannia, pudding, like, isn't there, like, spotted dick pudding, but it's actually a sausage made out of pig's blood or something like that? Oof, we're going to find Disgusting out. Disgusting behaviour. Uh, for Yorkshire puddings. Flour again. It's plain flour. It's plain flour for day. Blood pudding, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to add some flour, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Salt and pepper. You hear the sizzling? That's water hitting that heat plate. It happens to me all the time. And I'm going to crack two eggs. I'm a bad cook as well. No, so. no, I can't get in. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm Iron Chef Blue. I'm the best in the business. To ever create food, I am better. That's one. One egg. And that's two. Only two eggs. Could you get me a little bit of more cow, please? Now I'm going to put the mixer up. No, I'm not, because it ain't bloody sweet. It's done. That thing's, that thing's going crazy, hey. That's spitting like crazy. So I'm going to put the mixer on. All right. She's going crazy with it, yeah. And Lee's going to add a little bit of milk. Adding milk to it. Uh, not, oh, I'm going to add a little bit of milk then. Oi, oi. <laughs> Is it just me or this pot of potatoes? It's increased in smoke production. It's starting to smoke off pretty badly, eh? By look at that. Have a look at it. Have a look at all that smoke. This thing's about to catch on fire. Look at it. It's coming. It's it's coming from underneath it. It's not coming out of this top lid. It's all this smoke's getting produced around the bottom of this thing. Have a look. Right, I'm going to get some water. Now, I was talking to a friend of mine about my Yorkshire puddings. Have a look. And she says, I am adding too much water. Well, as the, as the words were, too much liquid. Keep adding a little bit at if a I'm time. Seeing, if I'm seeing all that smoke, I'd be concerned and checking it. I'd be like, what's, what's going on? Have I, what's cooking under here?
So like she's got she's got flour, eggs, milk, water, mixing this up. What is this for? What is that for? I wonder. We'll find out, but it's just we'll try a pudding, potatoes and peas, but we're making some form of something. <laughs> I think that might be a bit too thick still. So I need to go steady with the water. Right, as you can see, I've mixed it, um, the little bubbles, rice. Yeah, how how am I, like I'm here to learn and expand my taste buds. How am I going to learn when to stop when you just cut straight to finish? In which I was told that's the best way. Uh, I've got to leave it to stand for about five to ten minutes, and then I'm going to uh, do my. I'm going to do. And look up there now. The peas are starting to smoke off inside it, right? Not outside of the pot, like the the spuds here, but it's starting to smoke on the inside. Okay. Look. You can use the bun case one, and I'm going to put the uh, Yorkshire puddings in there. Right, as you can see, the Yorkshire puddings are done. Like I said, I'm going to do a little one. Oh. I'm just going to re rewind it a few seconds. It just went from being not done, being done. So those are Yorkshire puddings. What the f is going on here? How did that white liquid turn to brown? And how did you cook the, these things to turn into that? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even know how to do it. How am I supposed to learn? And I'm going to put the uh, Yorkshire puddings in there. The uh, Yorkshire puddings in there. Use the bun case one. And I'm going to put the uh, Yorkshire puddings in there. So you tell me like you just I don't get it, mad dogs. I, I can't I can't comprehend this. It goes from white to brown. And what she puts them in the oven and they turn into this? What? Ten minutes and then I'm going to Hang on. See, um the little I right, as you can see I've mixed it um the little bubbles rising which i was told that's the best way uh, i've got to leave it to stand for about five to ten minutes and then i'm going to uh do my i'm going to do bun case you can use the bun case one and i'm going to put the uh, yorkshire puddings in there in the oven right as you can see the yorkshire... <sighs> uh, look i get it you're going to put them in the oven and cook them but uh, uh, what i what i can't comprehend at the moment is how did it turn from white to brown Someone needs to explain this to me. How did that liquid Yorkshire pudding thing go from white to brown? Yorkshire puddings are done. Like I said, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to mash some potatoes. I've made the gravy out of the... Uh... When I mash potato, I add a little bit of margarine and a tiny little bit of milk. Make it nice and smooth. See if she adds anything to it. And then, so I just heard her say it's gravy. Right. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash some potatoes. I've made the gravy out of the... Okay, uh, that's, that's a different thing. It's what gravy. was left from the uh, Yorkshire pudding mix, okay. which is an old... Apparently it's gravy now. Yeah. ...good recipe, uh, which a lot of you will have not heard of, but, well, yeah. Now, as you can see, I put the potato, mashed the potatoes, and put them on. What did, you, did she add anything? I don't, uh, she must have just mashed straight up potato, just mushed it, and that's it. Which is, you know, cool. Each to their own. Um. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is just add the gravy. No, that's gravy. Um, yeah, apparently that's like gravy. Like I said, I made it from the what were left of the Yorkshire pudding. So that half a bowl of white liquid made two puddings. Jeez, they must be heavy hitters, eh? Mix, which is heavy an old recipe, like I've puddings, said. Mate. Look, look. 
look, I'm not going to lie. This looks kind of... This Lee, looks no, kind of good to go. Go on, Lee, mate. Go on, Lee. Get it down your gob, mate. Give it a try. What do you think, mate? Just try the peas and taters. Peas and taters? Mmm. Real good, eh? Peas are done nice, though. The taters, um... Peas are done nicely. Remember that for next time, man, dogs. Just boil, boil the dogs until there's no water left in the pot. That means they're good. You know, soft. You know, it's like, well, it's like mashed potatoes, but not. You know, because you have them to run. Look at her. She's confused as, mate. Can you, can you guys see that? Am I in the way? Let me have a look. Am I in the way? Can you see? Look at her face. She's ready to punch on. She's ready to give him a one-two on his glass jaw. Look at her face. Yeah. They're look. not too rare this time. Oh, yeah. I thought it was good then. <laughs> yeah, stab it. In. Just stab it up and then just put it in your mouth. Oh, that actually, that sounded good. Mm -hmm. That sounded that tasty, eh? Yeah. Bit of gravy, too. Mm. Alright, I know that not too, you like. Yeah, not too dry. This fry, actually. Thumbs up. Brilliant, wow. <laughs> Did you see him? Right, before I'm going to spiel on about Walk straight what I'm off. Spiel on about, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, yes, I have had trouble with the internet. The internet has been down. We've not changed provider, so. Hopefully, I know uh, that feeling. But, but we found out it was not to do with provide, it was something else, but I'm not going to go into all that. I know that feeling. Uh, so if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to leave me a comment, it... Yeah, my dog. There you go. The question is, would you try it? Would you try it or not? Would you eat it or not? For me, for this one, you'll try putting potatoes, or tartars, as the old Brits call it, the old... Yorkshire putting and tartars and teas, teas and tartars. I would try this. It looks actually, it looks okay. The crunch in that Yorkshire pudding sounded sounded good to go. Eh? I'd give it a try. Yeah, you would try it as well. Yeah, I would try it. If you want to leave, oh, what is it? If you want. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, be much appreciated. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know a lot of people who haven't subscribed, get them off the old channel and get them onto this channel.